this is the most exciting tool for me. Editing videos, just using text. For this you can use your existing YouTube link, or you can just drop your videos from your computer itself. And for this demo we'll be just using the demo video that's provided by Pictory itself to make our demo easier. So once you upload the video, it'll load up in the editor just like this. And this is the future. Now we can just edit videos, just like a document, and that's the search bar, where you can replace any common errors or misspelling. And you can also delete by searching that particular word. In this editor, the words and the scenes are interlinked, so if you delete a text and that'll delete the scene from the video as well. So that'll make our process much faster when it comes to editing. To show you an example, I'll just play this video. Well, once again, I want to welcome Prime Minister Trudeau to the White House. We just completed a very productive meeting. Although I regret to inform you that we still have not reached agreement on hockey. Um, but it is not interfering with the rest of our bilateral relationship. In this video, there is oom which is not needed. We can just click on that text and just click on the delete from video. That will delete that text, and it'll also delete it from the video as well. So let's see how it looks now. We have not reached agreement on hockey, but it is not interfering with the rest of our bilateral relationship. As you can see, ooms are removed from the video, but if there are a lot of ooms there is no need for you to worry. You can just toggle that switch and all the ooms are now gone. It removes all the filler words like ooms and as and filler words like that, so that'll make our editing so much faster. This is now my second meeting with just... As you can see in this video, there is silence before he speaks. We can remove silences also using Pictory. We can also set the seconds of silence that we want to remove. Once you toggle that, it removed all the silences as well. And if you want to undo that, we can undo it, but we'll redo it again. And to just to show the silences removed from the text and to make sure that it's gone from the video, we'll play that again. This is now my second meeting with Justin. I'm uh, grateful that I have him as a partner. Uh, we've See, the silence is removed with very minimal work, so this will make our editing process much faster. We can also create highlights using this. And suppose if you have a long webinar or a Zoom meeting that you want to just show the highlights to your colleagues, you can use this function or you can just make a short video and if you want to share it on social media, you can do that as well, based on the percentage that we set. The AI will go through the script and will create an AI summary for us. And if you are happy with the highlight that AI generated for us, we can just click on Generate Highlight Video and it'll start creating the highlight video for us. Once the video is ready, you will get a notification as an email or you can see it from the notification above. And you can also see the progress bar there. So if you don't want any scenes to be included, you can always click on the Unhighlight button and just remove it. If you just change the text, it'll only change subtitle. It'll not affect the video. And if you want to create all of these scenes as separate videos, you can do that as well. All you need is click on Download Video Clips and select the scenes that you want to download, and it'll download all the scenes as separate videos. It's that easy and you can see the status there in the notification, and it was just an example. Now I'm just cancelling it. You can also choose from different styles for the captions from my library and your templates library. As you can see, it changes the caption. You also have the option to download the subtitle files in three different format, VTT format, SRT format, and TXT format. Once the subtitle is downloaded, you can always open and see how it looks, and once the video is completed, you'll also get a notification like that. You can access all your projects from the My Projects from top. When you click on it, it'll take you to the area where you can manage your projects. You can create folders, you can give it a name, and just click on Create and it'll create a folder so that you can organize your files. If you want to move it, you can just click and move. You can move and select Demo, and it'll move that file to that demo folder that was created. This is the file that we just created now and all the scene highlights. When you click on that link button, a link is copied and you can share it with your clients or colleagues so that you actually don't have to download it and send it. It is saved in the cloud and you can get their reviews or suggestions. This is how the file will look like. You can also play it there itself and have the option to download text file there, and you have the option to download from the top as well. So that's the cloud sharing functionality of Pictory. And if you click on it, you can see the text below as well. Have you used it? Let me know what you think about this software in the comments below. Don't forget to watch part 3. It will be in the end cards. If you want to check Pictory out, I'll include a link in the description along with the discount code. And if you liked it, please like, share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.